Okay, so the last few videos, we've really outlined some challenges with working with Qt and templates and specifically Qt templated classes. Now we need to actually understand that if we're going to get around that disable copy constructor in Qt object by using pointers and we have to manage our own memory, there is a better way and it's called a shared pointer. We've worked with this before, it's super easy to use and it works beautifully with templated classes. So let's go ahead and put some includes in here. Qdebug, QShared pointer, and my class. My class again is just a blank class that has constructed and destroyed. So we can see actually its full life cycle here. All right, let's jump in here and let's actually say void add items. I should say, yeah, add items. Got a little ahead of myself there. Q list. And this is where things get a little bit confusing. You notice how I'm putting those brackets in there immediately. That way I don't lose track of where I am because I'm not the best at this. And I'm going to say Q shared pointer. And then put the brackets in again. You get this double arrow. That confuses some people. Don't let it. And my class list. So it has a very horrible looking parameter there, but it's actually very, very simple. We're just making a queue list filled with queue share pointers that uses my class. Now, because we're using queue shared pointer, we're telling Qt, hey, you track the memory because I'm busy and I don't want to mess around with it. Let's go ahead and grab this. And then we can just simply say, And then we can say my class make sure that does not have a parent make it very painfully obvious that it does not have a parent and we're going to say my class set object name and let's go ahead and give this some sort of super special snazzy name for example, my class and then whatever number we're currently on. And then we're just going to list append this. Now we want to make sure we encapsulate this or wrap this inside of a Q shared pointer. So I'm going to say Q shared pointer. And let's go ahead and say my class and give it our instance there, my class. So really, what have we done here? My gosh, what have we done? So very simple. We have a list. The list, instead of pointers, has Q shared pointer, which wraps around the pointer to our class, so we don't have to manage that memory. Looks really confusing if you're from newbie land, but seasoned veterans, especially you old C++ gurus, are going to know exactly what that is. Now we can go ahead and let's just play around with this just a little bit here. So I want to say void test list. I'm just going to make a function so we can see Qt do that automatic memory management for us. We don't want to have to play around with it. Save just a moment of typing. I'm going to grab this. Say this is our list. And I'm going to go ahead and say add items. Hand it our list. Add those items in. And then we're going to say list dot and I want to remove at, let's say two, why not? I'm going to paste something in super quick. So I'm just going to say QInfo count, whatever that is, and then print that out again, just so we can see that it was actually removed. I'm going to do a for each. And this is where sometimes people get a little confused. Again, super, super simple. You just need the type item and then we need our container which is the list if it seems like I'm copying and pasting a lot within the, my own code it is for I am for a reason and it is because you can very easily misspell something like that and then you have all sorts of weird ear yeah, errors I can't even say it you'll have all sort of weird errors that you'll have to figure out here 
So 99% of the time the IDE will catch them, but once in a while you have that one where you just sit there for 10 whole minutes looking at your screen going, what the hell just happened? So, oops, not object cast, object name. And then we're going to go ahead and move this down here. So really, what are we doing here? We're just making our list of Q shared pointers, which hold a pointer to the my class. We're going to fill that list up with 10 items, and then we're going to print it out. Or I should say print out the length. We're going to remove at two. This is the interesting bit here. Then we're just going to print out the object name for each one, print out the count, and then it's going to exit. And you're going to see something beautiful happen. Q shared pointer is going to come to the rescue and remove all of that memory for us. Simple to use, simple to understand, and most importantly, it takes us out of memory debugging. Voila. So we have a bunch of constructed count, and then we removed one, and then sure enough, we can see it goes 0, 1, 3 because we removed that other one. We have a count of 9 because we removed it, and the rest are destroyed automatically for us. So if you're ever concerned about putting a pointer in a queue list, don't. Um, you have plenty and plenty of tools at your disposal, whether you do queue delete all or you make it a list of queue shared pointers. It doesn't really matter either way, as long as you just remember to take care of that memory. Uh, when in doubt, I almost always prefer the queue shared pointer simply because I don't have to worry about forgetting to do the queue delete all.